Hello everyone, I'm back again. Yes, we want to talk. Real talk. Now today it's the relationship between kids and their parents. Hmm. Kids, it is us. We can talk. Sometimes if we, we don't realize that the people we are talking to is our parents. Those God has handed over our destiny to to take care of we talk to them anyhow we behave anyhow but let me tell you something whatever thing you do to your parents is coming back to you tenfold so far you are a human being and you want to get married and have your own kids now first of all i want to talk about obedience yes this it is the only commandment in the bible that has a reward sometimes i see young people dying i wonder Young people, if every if youths are dying, the, the the rate of youths dying in our world today, I wonder who who will be the leaders of tomorrow if youths should die. But sometimes we realize that so it's our fault. Like if hundred, let me not say hundred percent. Let me say eighty percent. Eighty percent of the death of youths is caused because they don't adhere to their parents' instruction. Go and ask their parents. You see them yelling. I told them not to do this. I told them not to go there. But they refused and they went. Now it, they've ended up dead. Now tell me, where is that person going to? Heaven or hell? I think you should answer that question yourself. Obedience is the first commandment. The Bible says, children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. Honor thy father and thy mother. For this is the first commandment with promise. The first commandment is that you will live long on earth. So if you want to live long, you have to obey your parents. That's just the law. It is nature. If you want to live long, so you don't go praying and asking God, God, I want to live long. Bless me. I want to, I want to live long on earth. I don't want to die young. If you don't want to die young, God has already given you what to do. And that is to obey your parents. Obey your parents in the law, though. Your parents in the Lord. Not when you, they ask you to do something bad and you do it and you say because the Bible says you should obey your parents. The Bible made it pop and played. Obey your parents in the Lord. When they are asking you to do the right thing, obey them. Simple. Secondly, make your parents your best friend. Not, uh, I see people having best friends. Let me tell you, the, for the fact is that tomorrow those people you call your best friend will surely leave you. And they will so disappoint you that you self, you know. Because I, I, you, everybody is human. Nobody is perfect. But it is your parents that can cover up your mess. You can tell your best friends your secret, and tomorrow when you don't, you, when you're no longer best friends with them, they will, that that secret you told them is no longer. Safe. In fact, there is nothing like secrets telling your best because that your best friend that you have will have another best friend that she will also or he will also confine it to tell your secret to. But when you make your parents your best friend. They will so cover you. They will cover you. Especially our moms. They will so protect you. And keep that your secret as their own. Even if you mess up tomorrow. Your secret is safe with them. So if you are looking for best friend. Tell them. Because anything you want to, you want to do. Anything you feel like doing. Anything you want to do. Like anything you want to do. Tell them first. It is better you confide in your parents than confiding in other people. Because your parents will not just keep your secret for you. They will also pray that that thing you have in mind, that you confided in them, will come to pass. That is why they are your parents. Actually, we don't know. They are the angels God has given to us to take care of us. It's our parents. Thirdly, be proud of your parents. If your parents can speak English, be proud of them. If they can't, be proud of them. Whichever way, if they sell in the market, be proud of them. If they are contractors, be proud of them. Whatever your parents are, be proud of them. Don't go to school and start uh, forming what you are not. If you go to school, you see girls claiming claiming what they are not, in fact. Then when you see their real parents, they'll be like, no, I don't know them. For what? Who are you deceiving? We know. See that your parents honor them. In fact, be so proud of them. I don't know why people are not proud of their parents. Because me, I am so proud of my parents. Thirdly, show them love. They are the ones you should show love first before going out to show your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever you call them. If you want to prosper in life, your first love are your parents. 
forget all this my first love this person is my first love forget that thing see the first person you saw when you came to this earth is your parents the first time you started seeing with this your two eyes they gave birth to you so they are your first love so whatever love you are showing once you you think you've made money enough right and you want to spend your money spend your money first on your parents you will not regret it instead you get ten folds before showing it to other people is the truth though me i'm telling you the truth third fourthly maybe it's um hmm, this one is very important for people who love discussing their parents with their friends you guys are just stupid though you're very stupid i don't sorry sorry to say that but do not discuss your parents with anybody if your parents is not doing you well keep it to yourself because the only way you present your parents to your friends, that's the way they take them. If you bring, present them as, as nothing, they will not regard them. So keep your parents safe from people. Respect them. Respect them. Respect them again. And respect them again. Keep them, keep anything concerning your parents' secret. It's not everybody you tell your parents' flaws. If your parents are not doing very well, keep it to yourself. Or if you want to talk, talk too much about it. Talk between your siblings. You are you are sharing the same parents. So do not, uh, don't go out there and start talking rubbish about your parents. It's very, very wrong. This is just the part one. I'm coming to the part two soon. Bye.